من الشيطان الرجيم ادعو الى سبيل ربك بالحكمه او ما يبلغ الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم ان وايت بيبل تووردز يور رب وذ حكمه وذ ويزدوم والموعظه الحسنه ان وذ جود ادفايس وجادلهم بالتي هي احسن ان when you argue do argue in the way which is the best in the rabbaka huwa a'lam indeed your rabb knows wa a'lam biman dalla an sabili who is straight away from the path of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and wa huwa a'lam bil muhtadin and your rabb knows who is steadfast so nothing is hidden from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so alhamdulillah this ayah in which allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaching his beloved rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because our rasul is rasul ummi some people do translation it's mean who had no knowledge i mean nauz billah they say ummi mean is uh ignorant astaghfirullah ummi mean who didn't get knowledge from any person except allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so alhamdulillah and you know the hadith in which rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said ad-din is nasiha ad-din is a nasiha din is itself nasiha nasiha has several meaning like one we we do nasiha we advise someone right sahaba ikram ridwan allah ta'ala alayhim ajma'in ask ya rasulullah qulna liman sahaba ikram ridwan allah ta'ala alayhim ajma'in said we ask ya rasulullah to whom nasiha rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam said lillah wa li wa li kitabihi wa li rasulihi wa li aymatil muslimin wa amatahum subhanallah so nasiha to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to his book quran to his rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam the ruler of islam and the common man so the things come in mind who can uh, advise allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his book which was revealed on the beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in this hadith like i said it has several meanings which are taqwa the love and the main literally meaning in this hadith to sincere to sincere with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the meaning of the sincerity to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whatever allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us we have to follow to his book to sincere the book whatever quran says we have to follow wali rasulihi the beloved rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam we have to follow we have to do ittaba ittaba rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam because the ittaba the following of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the following of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala qul in kuntum tuhibbuna allaha fattabi'uni يحببكم الله ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم والله غفور ان ولي ائمه المسلمين ان ذا رولر اوف ذا مسلم هو هو از بليفر هو از بليفر هو هاز فير اوف الله سبحانه وتعالى هو فالو الله اند هيز رسول صلى الله عليه وسلم ذن وي هاف تو اوبي ذات رولر ان هو امته ان ذا كومن مان سو هاو can we be sincere to a common man we have to we have to look his uh, rights haquq al ibad we shouldn't cheat anyone or brother and sisters in islam so these are the things to be sincere with allah his rasul his book and the rulers of islam believers and the common man So subhanallah 
And uh, Ayyub Ansari said, we were on a journey, a man, Berwan came and he asked, O Prophet of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, teach me, teach me the thing which take me near to the paradise and take me away from the hellfire. You know, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, you worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala la tushrik bihi shayya and do not associate anyone with him do not do shirk wa tuqeemu salah wa tuqti zakah pray your salah in time wa tuqti zakah pay your zakah the, the, the last one is wa tasilu rahim subhanallah and be polite be soft Feed kindly to other people. SubhanAllah, this is the thing of Islam. So the hadith, one hadith reminds, reminds me that Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu ta'ala who mentioned that hadith, one of the longest hadith in Bukhari and Muslim. Umar radiallahu ta'ala said, we were sitting in the company of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, a man appears. Very famous hadith. A man appeared. Look, the teaching of Islam. How Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the teaching of Islam towards the ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So he said, we were sitting with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Man appeared. So we never seen him before. His clothes were extremely white. His hair were ex exceedingly black, so no journey on his face. So he sat in front of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam with resting his knees, with adab, with respect, like we sit in the shahud. And he put his both hands on his palm. Uh, he put his palm on, the, on his thighs, with respect, like we sit in the shahud. And you know, he said, O oh, Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, akhbirni alil islam. Subhanallah. If you want to know the basic of Islam, you know this hadith encompasses the all aspect of the Islam. He said, akhbirni alil islam, O oh, Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, tell me about Islam. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Islam is to testify that there is no God but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is Rasul. Like I mentioned the previous hadith, so similar words in this hadith. And then Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, wa tuqeemu salah, wa tuqti zakah, wa tuhijju al-bayt, perform hajj, if you are able to do. If you have sources, then you, you have to do uh, uh, Hajj uh, Baitullah. And then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, do jihad in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know what he replied? He asked the question. He said, you had spoken truly. So Umar radiallahu said, we were amazed. This guy asking question and he's saying, it's true, uh, you said truly. So then he asked, akhbir me on al-Iman. Subhanallah. And then Rasulullah sallallahu, the first one is uh, the base of Islam. And the second one said, Akhbirni ala al-Iman, tell me about Iman. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Qul amantu billahi wa rusulihi wa malaikatihi wa kutubihi wa al-yawmi al-akhiri wa al-qadri khayrihi wa sharrihi min Allah ta'ala wa al-fa'asa ba'da al-mawd. So, Iman al-Mufassal. You have Iman on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his books, Quran and others, Suhafa, 
and then وَتُقِيمُ الصَّلَاةَ وَتُؤْتِ الزَّكَاةَ أَرَنْتُ بِاللَّهِ وَمَلَائِكَتِهِ وَكُتُبِهِ وَرُسُلِهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ and the day of resurrection the day of قيامت and believe in the destiny which Allah سبحانه وتعالى give you which is good or bad you have to have patience on that destiny that Allah سبحانه وتعالى sent upon you once Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam advising uh, Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala an, he was just nine years old and you know Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala an, oh my son I'm telling you I'm going to teach you a words of wisdom if the whole universe get together and they try to harm you they can't harm you whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written for your destiny <coughs> and if whole universe all universe get together to benefit you they can't benefit you whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written for your destiny subhanallah and then you know Rasulullah sallallahu when uh, that man asked about Iman Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told he said truly you said truly and then the third one he said tell me about O Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tell me about Ihsan Anil Ihsan what is Ihsan literally mean Ihsan is favor but here Ihsan mean Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Ihsan mean when you worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so worship that you are seeing when you worship you think as you are seeing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you have no if you have no ability to see to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then think then have iman that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala seeing you do ibadat in this way because Hazrat Ali karmullah bashmul kareem he says whenever I do sajda I do ziyarat of my Lord. I do not do second sajda when I see my Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do the ibadah in this way. Subhanallah. And then that man asked, tell me about qiyamah. Akhbirni ani al-qiyamah. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the man who is asking this question, he knows well. But he said, O Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, tell me the signs of Qiyamah. Subhanallah, then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the signs of Qiyamah you will see, and mistress will give birth to his Lord. Allahu Akbar. So what's the meaning of this? So, you know, this is true. It's meaning a mother who give birth his son or daughter, her son or daughter, they will treat their mother like a servant, that like she's servant. Look these days, how we talk our mother. So that's the meaning of that the mistress will give the birth her Lord. And then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, and you will see. Then Prophet said about the Hijaz, about the Bedouin. He said, You will see the barefooted, destitute, the shepherd. What will, what will they do? They will compete to construct the lofty buildings. So we, we can see when we go to Makkah or Medina, we can see the buildings which touching the sky. This is true. So these are the signs of the Qiyamah. And you know, after this, that person left. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked, Umar radhi wa said, oh, we sat there, and Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa asked, oh Umar, did you know? Who was the questioner? Umar radhi Allah ta'ala who said, Ya Rasulullah, Allahu wa Rasuluhu alam. We don't know. So Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, he was a Jibreel alayhi salam. He came to you to teach you your religion. What we learn in this hadith about Islam, about Iman, about Ihsan, about the respect 
the respect and the love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the way Jibreel said in front of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So this is, a, this is the basic of Islam. If we follow one of the thing, one of the unit, believe me, we can make our life like a paradise in this world. And you know, today is a four Rajab, just two, three minutes, uh, I would like to talk about one of the hero of Islam, Hazrat Khwaja Ruayuddin, Chishti Ajmeri Rahmatullahi Ta'ala, he passed away six Rajab. So, very briefly, you know, look, we just, you know, we celebrate the rules, but we don't follow the teaching, what they did. I was, I was studying, he got study. He got education in 20 years and then he went a wali Allah, his, his, his teacher, his sheikh, Khwaja Usman Haruni, subhanallah, who took him um, um, Hijaz, Makkah and then Medina. You know, Khwaja Muhyiddin Chishti Ajmeri, Rahmatullahi Ta'ala, he said in Sayyidul Arafin, his book, he said, I was in Medina. And you know what happened? He said, I was doing ibadat in Masjid al-Nabawi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and you know, I sleep there. So in my dream, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came, subhanallah. And you know what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam commanded me? He said, he commanded me, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, O Mu'inuddin, go to Ajmer. He was from per uh, per uh, Iran, the Sistan, the village of the Sanjur, the name Sanjur, that village in Iran. Look, from where he went to Medina and Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam sent him in Ajmer. said, so go there and preach Islam and spread Islam. And you know, we, we, we learn this. Ulama, Aima Ikram, they say more than nine, nine million people accepted Islam on his head. Because of his character, because of his khul, that was the whole of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because they were the true follower of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted him, blessed him. The people, whoever uh, talked to him, he accepted Islam. And you know that time there was a Hinduism there. So everyone teaching Hindu, Hinduism or you know the jogi, uh, the magic, uh, the magician. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed his banda. Quran says, Allah la alayhi wa la And on the, another verse is in which Allah says, Allah wa lihi lazina amanu. Awliya Allah, the friend of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is the friend of Awliya Allah. Subhanallah. That hadith, hadith says, Qudsi, ma yazal abdi yataqarrabu ilayya bin nawafil. My banda become my mahboob with ibadah, with volunteer ibadah. Hatta ahbabtuhu. And he, he become a beloved of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then what happened? Fakuntu sama'ahu lazi yasma'u bi. That's a long uh, hadith. He, then I become his sama'at, his hearing. I become his eyes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pure from these things. But the power behind Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the last thing, you know, his, his sheikh said, because he was a murid of Khwaja Usman Haruni. Some people call him, mostly people call Haruni, Usman Haruni, but that village was the Harman. So Khwaja Usman Harmani. And his sheikh is Haji Sharif Zandani. You know, who said his murid Khwaja, look, the character, I'm going to finish after this. He said, okay, after Asr to Maghrib, he said, Khwaja Usman Haruni, Khwaja uh, Sharif Zandani, Rahmatullahi Ta'ala This time, whoever, only I'm telling you, I will sit, whoever sees me, he, with the fadl of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, he will get Jannah. So who, if you tell someone, then it would be alternate. He said, he get permission, can I tell my murid, Khwaja Muhyiddin Chishti Ajmeri. He said, okay, you are allowed to tell him. You know what he did? He told Khwaja uh, Muhyiddin Chishti Ajmeri, 
So Vaja Marmuthi Chishtej Miri announced in the whole valley, come this time, so do ziyarat of Wali Allah. So all people came there. You know, Vaja Smarani asked, I told you, don't tell anyone, it's a secret. You know, Sheikh said, if you tell anyone, she will go to Jahannam. He said, look the hulk, look the zarf. He said, yes, I want to be a loser here because I want the thousands of the followers of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa the ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa go to Jannah. If I go to Jahannam, it's not a, I think it's, I'm not a loser then. So this is the hulk of who think always for others. That's why Islam, you know, the humanity to think for others. That's the teaching of Islam. Make dua may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease and goodness and make us of those who follow Quran and sallallahu <laughs>